Okay, so what we need to do is, I don't know what we need to do, we need something square, we need a pen, we need scissors, and we need tape. Tape. So first you're gonna get your square thing and you're gonna write down on your piece of paper. Next oh and you need your piece of paper. You're gonna trace round your piece of square. Once you've done that, you're gonna cut it where your lines are. It doesn't necessarily have to be straight because we can fix it afterwards. Okay, so now that we've got our square, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half. And then where there's any extra bits, you just cut it. So now that you've got your square and you've got it in half and you cut it out, it's so you open it out again that, and then you fold it in half but the other way. So now that we've took it out that way, we need to do it that way. So what might happen is it's not exactly a square, but I'm going to really worry about that. So you don't like the so you're not going to really have to worry about that, but it's just an extra bit. That so you're in your, so in your quarters, and what you need to do is you need to get to the corners and you need to fold it into a triangle like that, so the point goes up. It might, it might be quite hard because like if you don't have like the right square. So you've done that, now you're going to open it back up again and now you're going to do it the other way. So now that you've got your quarters, you can draw lines for them. Just visual ones in the middle to show where your folds are. Because it is sometimes quite hard to show where your folds are. Like that. Okay, now you're going to get in it and you're going to bend it to the sides and then you're going to fold them in. So fold it in like that. So you're going to fold it like that. Okay. Then you're going to, so what you're going to do is you're going to fold them in and push it together. Then you're going to push them like that and same with the other side so now that you've done this you might have a bit of extra stuff poking out like out the sides well, all you need to do is just cut it off because it's not going to affect it that much and so now that you've got that you're going to need to get your tape and you're going to stick it. So you're going to mark where you need to stick it. So, decide the front of your bookmark. Now fold it like that and there and there. You need to mark is where you're going to put some tape. But don't do it yet. And then we turn it around to the back and then we put some in there. So you, so here's the front. You need here's the front. You need it mark there, a mark there, then two marks there. Because what you're going to do next is you're going to get your tape. There's the end. 
here and you're gonna cut a little little bit off then you're going to do your full method so you're going to get your tape and you're going to roll it so that the sticky bit is on the outside you're just going to push down hard and then you're going to put the tape where you have marked so where you've marked it in pen you're going to put And then you're gonna do the same for all the other all the other ones and just do the same rolling method. And just stick them. I'd recommend that you don't stick them yet, you just put them in the places and then you move on to your other marks because you don't want to stick them down straight away because otherwise it might be hard to get the other ones in the right place and then last one so you should have four marks and this is quite an easy way to do it to so you can use these as Christmas presents, I did, you can write whatever you want on the front. So now you've done that, I suggest that you do those two first that are touching the back. And I'm just going to push it down. Then you're going to do the ones that are on the sides. And then you're going to just push it down really hard. Then... And then you've got that, you can cut any excess off because I still want these some. Now that you've got that, at the front, it should, oh, it should open like that. You can use double sided tape or glue, but this is just another way if you don't have it. And so you will just open like that. And then there's a book. Like a um, so they're not once you've got your piece of paper you can just write anything you want on the front you just slot it onto your piece of paper like that so that's how we make a bookmark and I'll see you in the next video bye